I made this simple twin bed frame for my daughter using 2x8 and 2x4 wood boards. Let me show you how. It's Mindy, and let's get started. I only needed seven boards for my bed frame because I ended up using metal slats from the loft bed she had. You'll see that at the end, and I'll explain. I took my husband along to help with the heavy lifting for this one, which he is always so excited about. He's so happy. <laughs> Here is my supply list and cut list. If you need support for the mattress, you'll need additional boards, but I'll mention it again when we get to that point. I am working on learning some plan sketching software, so let me know in the comments if that's something you're interested in. No fancy cuts here. Everything is just cut at a 90 degree angle based on the measurements. And I was so excited to cut these because I had just changed my miter saw blade and it cut like butter. I added four pocket holes to both ends of each 73 inch 2x8. Then I sanded all the pieces in the garage and moved everything to the bedroom to assemble. We are basically making a large rectangular box and it would be help helpful to have a second set of hands for this, but lots of clamps work too. You'll also notice I added a block of wood underneath that corner just to make sure everything was level. Each corner is assembled with the pocket screws. And if you're wondering why I didn't use glue, it's because the weight of the wood makes this bed frame very heavy and hard to move in one piece. So once the outside frame is assembled, we're gonna attach the shorter two by four boards to the short two by eights using wood screws. And I just added about eight or 10 screws here. These will be the support pieces that the longer two by fours will attach to. This is such a simple build. Any beginner can do this. You can even have the measurements taken to the hardware store and just have them cut all your pieces there. So again, once the shorter two by fours were attached, I attached the three long two by fours across the top of each of those. I did realize that it may be better to add a third support piece. I didn't realize that until the this point in the middle to prevent sagging and I'll just add that later but I didn't have a long enough piece to add at this point mentioned before we had these metal slats from the loft bed that my daughter had before so I just repurposed those. If you don't have the slats you could use one by threes to go across the two by fours and I used just a couple of screws to each corner to keep those slats in place. I finished off the bed frame with two coats of black paint that had primer in it and this is how it turned out. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you have any questions. I hope you found this helpful and let me know if you'll try making your own bed frame. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.